If you'd rather use Google Chrome for your site-specific browsers, you can do so with a shell script. Just download the script from Lifehacker and save it wherever you like. I have a folder just for scripts of this nature in my documents. Then open up a terminal window and type in chmod plus x and then drag the script into the terminal window. Hit enter to make it executable. Now whenever you want to make an app shortcut, just drag it back into the terminal and hit enter. It will ask you for the name of the app. In this case, we're going to make one for Google Reader, so we're going to go ahead and type in Reader. You can't have any spaces in the app's name for this version of the script, unfortunately, so if it's more than two words, you're just going to have to come up with an abbreviation. Then it's going to ask you for the URL. We can just copy and paste this from Google Chrome. Afterwards, it's going to ask you for an icon. There are a lot of great places to find an icon online. You can just search Google Images, or you can use the Fluid Icon Flickr pool, which has some pretty good icons. Here's one I found for Google Reader. Just drag it into Terminal and hit Enter. It will create your app shortcut in your Applications folder, and you should be able to open up Finder after a few seconds and see it pop up. There it is. Now when we double-click on it, it will open up in a new window with its own icon, completely separate from Google Chrome. That's it. Note that your Google Chrome preferences and add-ons won't carry over, so if you need to apply user scripts or anything else to the page, you're better off opening the page in Chrome itself or using Fluid to create the shortcut.